Shalom, Kohaloyim la Yavashim Yahushai. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Um, yes, today I really wanted to go into detail on, um, you know, fear the Lord, man. You know, fear the Lord. And the reason why I say fear the Lord is because it's like, it's it's actually scary what, you know, the Most High has done. Uh, Romans 11 Starting at verse to uh, eleven, verse seven, it says, "What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded." This is such a scary precept because imagine you have our people that were chosen by the Most High to be blinded, man. Chosen to not see the light. Chosen to, to be covered in darkness, man. Verse 8. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber. So the Most High has given our people the spirit of slumber, man. Eyes that they should not see. Me eyes did they still see meaning that you know even though you can physically have conversations with them and speak to them their mind cannot understand this knowledge because the most high blinded them it says and ears that they should not hear meaning that no matter how much you speak to them and they listen you know via their ears they're not going to understand until this day. Wow. The Lord blinded most of his people. That's a scary God, man. A God that can blind most of his people. And David said, let their table be a snare and a trap. And a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. And even King David prayed, let their t table be made a snare and a trap and a stumble and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back always. You see, even King David prayed that their eyes will be covered in darkness, man, that they won't be able to see. And that's a scary, scary thing, man. That's a scary thing. This is the reason why you have to fear Yahweh Shimiel Shai. Fear the Heavenly Father, man. Fear Him. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting at verse 11. And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie and what's one of them strong delusions plantation christianity the muslim religion all these different false belief systems like protestant catholic agnostic all right being a um, deist, being an orthodox, the Lord has given them a strong delusion that they should believe a lie. That's why you have to fear Yahweh Shemiel Shai. Verse 12, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So all these people that you see, they might be living their life comfortable now. It might seem as if they're living their life comfortable and good, but the Lord has them blinded. It's like someone having a blindfold and they're walking towards a cliff 
and little do they know whilst they're walking they're about to fall down from that cliff that's the same thing with people in this world man they're walking having not a clue having no desire of the truth and the most high is making them step closer and closer to a time of trouble where they're going to be damned that's why you got to fear you how bashim you say it says verse 12 says that they all might might be damned who believed not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness but we are bound to give thanks always, always to Yahweh for you. So if you're in this truth, you're meant to be like, Yahweh You know, thank you, Lord, for making me an Israelite that I can see, that I can hear, that I can understand, that I can understand and and have a chance to be part of that number it says brethren beloved of the lord because yahweh have from the beginning chosen you to salvation so the most high chooses who he's going to give salvation so the elect were selected by Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Let me read again because because Yahweh have from the beginning, or right, from the beginning, all right. So everyone has been preordained to play their lot, chosen you to salvation. Through sanctification of the spirit and belief of truth. And what's part of salvation? It says, ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So believing in Yahweh Shai sets your mind free from mental bondage. But there's going to be a time where the Lord is going to free us from this physical bondage in the sense of these corruptible bodies. When those chariots come, Lord willing, the Most High sends his son Yahweh Shai and the angels beam us up and we get changed into those incorruptible bodies. He says, Where unto he called you by our gospel? To the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which you have been taught, whether by word or our epistle. Now, our Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach Himself and Yahweh, even our Father, which have loved us. And have given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. See, is it everlasting consolation? Because the wicked have temporal consolation. But you can't even imagine what the Lord is going to give those that love Him, those that sincerely follow his word his teaching comfort your hearts and establish you in every good work word and work you see so we have to fear the most high we have to fear you how about because he, the Most High is the one that chooses who gets salvation and who doesn't get salvation. He's the one that chooses. We're just 
the chess pieces that he moves. He's the writer of the script. And we're just playing out what has been written. So I pray that the Most High have mercy on us in the time of trouble. And I pray that Yahweh Hashem Shai chooses us, or as I say, has chosen us to be his elect. Shalom. Fiyah Hashem Yahweh Shai.